Hey guys, welcome back. And today I wanna to share with you guys a few settings in iOS 13 that you may want to consider changing. Now, for those of you who are currently using iOS 13 in beta, you can go through these settings and maybe apply these changes. Or for those of you who are running iOS 12, you may consider these changes once you update. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the settings that you may want to consider changing after installing or using iOS 13. Now, before we do continue with today's video, guys, I do wanna give a quick shout out to our sponsor, 5K Player. This is an all-in-one free powerful software that enables you to play all kinds of HD, 4K, and even 8K video as well as music and DVDs. You can stream videos between DLNA compatible devices from Android to a PC or Mac, from a computer to an Android smart TV, PlayStation, Xbox, and many more. You can also air mirror your iPhone screen to a computer, PC, or Mac as well as record your iPhones or iPad screen while mirroring your display as well. So if you would like to check them out and download 5K Play you'll get a 4k video converter free links will be in the description down below so let me show you some of the settings I changed myself when I first installed iOS 13 now in notes by default you start off with this really bold text every time you start creating a new note and it continues until you hit return and then it goes back to the regular font this is a title and this is enabled by default now you can change that if it's annoying to you as it is to me you can go to settings you want to head on over to the notes extension and then you want to head on over to start with this section here right there title we want to switch that to body once you switch that to body we can go back into notes and it should go back to normal just like that and fix now this next one is more of a popular question that I get almost every day on YouTube where is auto brightness so I can turn it off well in iOS 13 it is under accessibilities just like iOS 12 but accessibilities is now on the main page is no longer under general so go to accessibilities and then you want to head on over to display and text size and all the way down the list you have to scroll to be able to see it is auto brightness so if you want to turn it off there is auto brightness right there now auto brightness of course uh, improves the user experience as well as the battery life by changing the display brightness obviously auto brightness changing it according to the ambient lighting but some people may find it annoying and may not even be able to find it so that's where it's at now another setting that I always change in iOS 11 and iOS 12 and now iOS 13 is under the privacy tab the location services and then we scroll all the way down and you'll find system services now this option here significant location this is constantly tracking everywhere you go to give you relevant information in maps and things like that but i personally do not like my iphone to know where i'm at at all times i just feel a little uneasy with that setting so when you tap into it it requires face id to unlock you can clear the history and turn it off right there so if you don't want to be tracked by your iphone that's one way you can avoid it now for this next one is an exclusive iOS 13 feature I think it's awesome I think you guys are gonna love it if we go to settings and we go to the wallpaper usually when we go to do a wallpaper or implement a new wallpaper we go directly to it and we may overlook this option here dark appearance dims wallpaper so if you're activating dark mode right take a look at the wallpaper here it stays the same once dark mode is activated there it is but if you turn this option on, you'll see that any wallpaper that you have will actually get a dark mode theme to it as well. It will make it dark. So let's go ahead and enable that and take a look here. Boom. Isn't that cool? By the way, the wallpaper will be listed down below if you want to check it out. But look at that. You make a darker appearance to the wallpaper. It just kind of makes everything looks very, very cool. Now, for those of you that don't know, in iOS 13, we now have a download manager built into Safari. However, these downloads go directly to the files application. But what if you want to redirect these downloads to a different specific area of your iPhone? Well, you want to find the Safari extension right here in settings. You want to head on over to downloads. And right here, you have the option to send it to your iPhone or even another place, maybe your desktop using the cloud or any other cloud services right there you can add a new folder but I would like to download things directly to my iPhone so if you don't want everything to go to the cloud that option to send it directly to the iPhone is an option under the downloads tab right there under the Safari extension for the new downloader now for the messages application if you want to keep your messages more organized from your contacts and from people that you don't necessarily speak to as often you can go to the messages tab right here and then we want to scroll down where we find the filter unknown sender so if someone texts you from an unknown source or or a spam text message you don't have it all cluttering your actual uh, messages application but rather you have the unknown senders and you can actually report these unknown senders if they're spam so you can keep them separate and more organized in messages by simply clicking and activating uh, filter unknown senders 
Now the next one has been here since iOS 11, I believe, but this feature has been uh, kind of rearranged and changed a little bit here. Under music, if we go to the data options, right here you can allow Apple Music to stream at high quality. So if you ever notice that your Apple Music isn't as crisp and clear as you think it should be, you can go ahead and enable the high quality streaming, which is off by default, as well as the download options. These are gonna be, again, under the cellular data option right there under the Apple Music or music extension in settings so better quality audio and by the way a quick tip for whatever reason apple music always sounds better with the late night option enabled or filter if you will equalizer option right there so that's just a quick tip now siri shortcuts is now built into ios 13 however uh, untrusted or third-party siri shortcuts cannot be installed on your iphone and there's a ton of great developers out there you may want to really think about this one but this was a question how to enable third-party uh, siri shortcuts so you go to the shortcuts application or extension here in settings and then you have allow untrusted shortcuts now keep in mind uh, these are automations so you may want to be careful which shortcuts you allow uh, the iPhone to install using Safari or whatever but uh, the shortcuts application is now built into iOS 13 and Apple has restricted to only the shortcuts within the shortcuts application so if you want to go ahead and install a shortcut from a, a website or something like that then that's how you do it and last but not least if you're anything like me and you're using dark mode all day every day and you want to get rid of these gray separators in settings to give your dark mode theme even darker to look go to accessibilities go to display and text size scroll all the way down i want you to look at these separators right here uh, on the menus of the screen here for settings so if we turn reduce white points on boom they instantly disappear as you see there now we can scrub over to the left to make it a little lighter or darker but you can go ahead and definitely make your iOS 13 dark theme even darker with no separators there by just simply adjusting that option. Again, that's under accessibilities, display and text size, and then reduce white point. So there it is, grayish, no more grayish. So really cool. I use this around a 25%. And that works great for me. So I hope you guys enjoy these tips. Thank you for watching today's video, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.